Have you ever walked across a patch of ground and missed a rock worth thousands, possibly millions, because it looked just a little too ordinary? Because today, what we're about to uncover could change the way you see the soil beneath your feet. Meteorites. The surviving fragments of space that crashed onto Earth, hiding in plain sight. And here's the secret. You don't need expensive tools, remote deserts, or a NASA lab to find them. You might just need to step outside. Let's begin. What exactly is a meteorite? A meteorite is the solid piece of debris from an asteroid, comet, or meteoroid that survives the fiery descent through Earth's atmosphere and lands on the surface. There are three main types. Iron meteorites, dense, magnetic, often rusty. Stony meteorites, the most common but trickier to identify. Stony iron meteorites, rare, mixed with beautiful olivine crystals. But what matters to you, more than classifications, is how to identify them where they've fallen because most go unnoticed, and that's the opportunity. Backyard gold, where meteorites actually fall. Most people think meteorites only fall in deserts or remote tundra. Not true, statistically, they fall evenly over the entire Earth's surface. That means your backyard, your driveway, your local park, and the nearest hill might hold what people spend years chasing. Rural areas, older buildings, farm fields, rooftops, even gutters, these are prime locations. Why? Because meteorites don't melt completely upon entering Earth. They slow, cool, and drop, and they often survive intact. What to look for? Meteorite signs. You're not looking for beauty, you're looking for uniqueness. Here's what to check. Magnetism. Most meteorites are magnetic due to iron content. Even a basic fridge magnet can help. Weight. Meteorites are unusually heavy for their size. Fusion crust, a thin, often dark coating from the burning descent. Regmaglyphs, thumbprint-like impressions on the surface. Metal flakes, tiny specks that shimmer when scratched. No bubbles. Meteorites don't have air bubbles like volcanic rocks do. Take a good flashlight. Look at odd rocks. Run a magnet across your yard. Sometimes that boring brown lump is a million-year-old space visitor. Tools you can use, already at home. A fridge magnet to check magnetism. A scale, compare weight with common rocks. A file or knife for scratch tests. A UV flashlight, some meteorites fluoresce faintly. Your smartphone camera plus zoom lens for close-up textures. Still think you need a fancy lab? The easiest locations to begin gravel driveways, especially those untouched for years. Roof gutters. Meteorites can be tiny micrometeorites. Fields after heavy rain. Rain exposes deeper layers. Paved playgrounds and dirt parks. Abandoned construction sites. If you're near a body of water, check the muddy banks. Meteorites often follow gravity and erosion patterns. Real-life backyard discoveries in 1992, a meteorite crashed into a car in Peekskill, New York. In 2010, a man found a 17-pound meteorite in his backyard in Georgia while digging to plant tomatoes. And in 2021, a Canadian woman had a meteorite crash through her roof and land on her pillow. Space isn't distant. It's falling on us. Don't get fooled. Fakes versus the real deal. A common trap is mistaking slag, man-made smelted rock, or volcanic basalt for meteorites. Slag is bubbly. Meteorites are not. Slag has sharp, glassy edges. Meteorites are worn, smooth, and sometimes show metal flakes. Also beware of hematite and magnetite. They're heavy and magnetic, but lack fusion crust and regmaglips. A real meteorite will show metal flakes, high density, magnetic attraction, and rounded edges. When in doubt, contact a local university geology department or send it to a certified lab. How to test your rock at home magnet test. Does it attract strongly? Weight test. Is it abnormally heavy? Scratch test. Gently file a surface. 
is it metallic? Streak test, use a ceramic tile. Meteorites won't streak easily. If it passes three out of four, you might be holding a cosmic treasure. What happens if you find one? Meteorites can sell for $1 to $100,000 plus, depending on size, type, and rarity. Iron meteorites are valuable for science and collectors. Stony iron meteorites with olivine can be worth thousands per gram. Contact a reputable meteorite buyer or list it on specialized auction platforms like Heritage Auctions or Bonhams. And here's where the mystery gets even more magnetic. Literally, magnetism, the meteorite's signature. Many meteorites, especially the iron and the stony iron types, are strongly magnetic. If you have a strong rare earth magnet, like a neodymium magnet, walk slowly over areas where your meteorite suspicions rise. You don't even need to touch the rock. Just hold the magnet close. If it pulls, you've got something. But be cautious. Not every magnetic rock is a meteorite. Hematite and magnetite, earth minerals, can mimic this property. The difference? True meteorites feel unusually heavy for their size. They pull hard. They have a solid metallic clang when tapped. And if you ever find a rock that nearly leaps to your magnet, don't ignore it. You could be the first person on Earth to ever touch it. Fusion crust and regmaglyphs, skin of the skies. Meteorites aren't born smooth. As they blaze through the atmosphere, friction causes their surfaces to melt forming a thin black outer layer called the fusion crust. This coating is your next big clue. Feel the rock. Does it have a thin, matte black shell? Is it smoother on the outside than on the inside? That's fusion crust. Now look closer. Do you see thumbprint-like indentations? Like the surface was pressed by fingers of fire? These are called regmaglyphs, and they are unmistakable. No earth rock wears them. Fusion crusts also weather over time. A recent fall may still be jet black, while older meteorites will show rust, cracks, or even chipping, revealing the silvery metal inside. This outer layer is your first clue, but the real treasure is beneath it. Break it open if you dare. If you suspect your rock might be a meteorite and it's not a recent fall, you may consider breaking it open. Or better, filing down a small patch. What you're looking for are tiny specks of metal, sparkling iron flakes embedded throughout the rock. Chondrites, stony meteorites, often show small circular features called chondrules, like grains frozen in time. They are the building blocks of planets. If you see glittering specks or metallic veins when filed, chances are high. If you see a uniform, dull gray with no shine, likely just another earth rock. Remember, a meteorite isn't just a rock. It's the oldest relic in your hands, billions of years old. Watch for the strewn field clues. Meteorites rarely fall alone. They break up during entry, scattering across long, narrow zones called strewn fields. If one was found in your region, chances are others fell nearby. Your backyard might be in the path of one such ancient skyfall. Research past meteorite finds in your area. Are there reports of falls decades ago? Do you live near a desert, dry lake bed, or farm that's seen strange stones before? Follow the patterns. You might be walking over a whole collection without knowing. The sound, the feel, the weight. Meteorites don't just look different. They feel different. Hold it. Meteorites are heavier, denser than they appear. An iron meteorite will feel twice as heavy as a common rock of the same size. Tap it. It rings like a coin dropped on a table. Not a dull clunk, but a resonant metallic ping. Smell it. Recently fallen meteorites sometimes have a burnt sulfurous scent. A trace of their atmospheric journey. Feel its texture. Is it smoother in odd places? Are the edges blunted or melted? This isn't just about geology anymore. It's instinct meeting evidence. Verification, the final step. You've found the rock. You've tested the magnetism. You've seen the fusion crust, the weight, the chondrules. 
But still you wonder, is this really a meteorite? Time to verify. Contact a local university's geology department. Reach out to a meteorite society or natural history museum. There are also online groups and experts who verify photos and data, send pictures, include weight, measurements, magnetism results, and where you found it. Some universities may even offer to analyze it for free. Because finding a new meteorite isn't just a hobby, it's science. It could be worth thousands. It could be worth millions. But most importantly, it's a piece of the universe. And the best part? You didn't need fancy gear, a spaceship, or a laboratory. Just your eyes, your hands, and the curiosity to question the ground beneath you. The next time you're walking through a field, your backyard, or a dusty trail, look down. The rocks you're ignoring might not be from here at all. Because the Earth doesn't just keep secrets from the surface. Sometimes it keeps secrets from space. And you, with just a magnet and a curious heart, could be the one to uncover them. This is EGS Pro. Subscribe for more secrets buried in plain sight.